Hello and welcome back to The Social Rundown. Every single Friday we give you the top three stories on social media and this week is no different, so let's get started. Our first piece of news comes from Facebook as over 50 million people were affected by last week's hack. However, a lot of them don't know that it could have affected other platforms that are attached to their Facebook. As always, everyone took to Twitter to complain about the fact that they were logged out of their Instagram and Facebook account. However, some were even logged out of Tinder and Spotify. Facebook aren't sure yet whether any personal information has been leaked, which is why numerous lawsuits have been filed, amounting up to one billion pounds. On Wednesday morning, Instagram was down. Apparently it was caused by a server error, but a lot of people think that it was linked to the fact that Facebook was hacked last week. And of course, everyone took to Twitter to complain about it. And in fact, there's even an outage map which shows all the places in the world which didn't have Instagram for about half an hour. What absolute tragedy. The new iPhones have only been out one week and are already causing issues. The newest one is called Beauty Gate. Apparently on the front facing camera, a beauty filter has been added, very similar to what Snapchat has. Apple is saying that it's because of the new noise reduction. People have been posting on Reddit comparison photos between the front facing camera on the iPhone X and the iPhone XS and XS Max have been seeing some major differences. As well as Beauty Gate, we've also had Charge Gate, which is well, the iPhones aren't charging unless you tap to wake them up. Basically, things aren't going very well for Apple. I don't know about the charging issue, but I definitely don't need the beauty filter because, I mean, you can't improve on perfection. And that's it for the social rundown this week. Thanks very much for watching. If you want to get this in your inbox every single week, you can sign up to the mailing list above. However, we'll see you next week. Same time, same place. Bye-bye.